Now, I got to tell you something. You you talk about chow, make them run in for it. You get that on, okay. and that's just the beginning. Is, so you put the fertilizer on, you put the Epsom salts on. Put that on half, you put this on half the recommended rate, put that on. So you then, go then you first, could have the liquid person come in, and then if you're doing it yourself, then what you would do is go in and fill your hose and jar with the formulas that we talked about, and that is the one can of beer. Beer on your lawn? Sure. Yeast uh, begins to break down the thatch and grass clippings that you're either too lazy or your lawnmower doesn't like the taste of them won't pick up. Put in the household ammonia in almost all the way to the top, over the top, and you get the one that smells Now, wait a minute. Wait, this is where we always lose you. How what? much beer and how much ammonia? One can of beer. Okay. Ammonia almost all the way up to the top. Okay. Leaving enough room to put in one cup of liquid, ordinary liquid dish soap on the top. The soap that keeps the grass clean? It removes the dirt and dust and keeps it clean. Oh. Um, it also uh, gives the bugs diarrhea, so they're busy in the bug bathroom, don't have time to come back to your house. Remove surface tension so penetration takes place so that it goes down and not out into the gutter, down in the street. The river turns green and your lawn stays brown. Okay. Well, in the meantime, the, um, for people who have made some mistakes in the past, mm -hmm. we have uh, three people that have some very serious problems that haven't been doing all of this yet. So if you would play doctor, please. Dominic will first come. We will hear Rolling. now our first problem with lawn care. Now look at this. I've got yellow patches like this all over the lawn. Problem is, my neighbor's got a dog and lets him in here and he does his thing. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, I wouldn't mind putting the effort in like I do at the rest of the garden, but Jerry, what can I do about this? I'll put well, it on the dog. Well, it probably is the dog. Um, that is, if he's, his, if he's seen it, but one of the first things I do is talk to my neighbor. If that didn't work, I then go to work yourself. Gypsum, G-Y-P-S-U-M, agricultural gypsum. Old Ben Franklin discovered its use when he was running away from the paternity charge over in France. You apply that at uh, 50 pounds to 2,500 square feet, but especially in heavy spots, over the top of that, it neutralizes the sodium salt damage. In the wintertime, if your dog's going to run or your neighbors come your way, then spray, uh, then apply this, and you can apply it with any kind of a spreader along the, where the dog runs, but also um, here in Canada, all along driveways and sidewalks where milking and thawing materials are used, rock salt, so it neutralizes that sodium salt damage. Always wear golf spikes when you work around your yard, especially in the spots where the dog went all over them. And, and, he did it. and on top of that, folks, if you just chase the dog around and catch his urine, you wouldn't have to buy fertilizer. 22 parts of water to one part dog urine, you got the best fertilizer in the world. But oh, money! Chasing the dog down the street. <laughs> the tips we get from you. But, that oh, was, but that's, we, we did use it in, in the old days. Oh. That's what it's called buying yeah. that tea. Well, I right. <laughs> Anyway, it's problem number two. Somebody who just didn't know any of these tips. I can't understand why not. But anyway, I hope you can help this person. I have been working on this lawn for months. I put down the peat moss. I put down the topsoil. I put down a ton of grass seed. And still, I've got this balding excuse for lawn here. Now, I don't know if it's me or if it's the shade. Jerry, can you help me, please? Oh, there's too much shade, do you think? Okay, if you've got, if you've got moss growing, it's an indication of, of heavy soil and poor drainage. The best thing in the world to do is to either replace the soil or to drill a series of holes, and you can, you can either drill them or pound them and put 60-40 gravel in it. They, um, you can also add the gypsum that we've talked about mm -hmm. uh, to the future, and that's 50 pounds over 2,500 square feet. You can also use a material that's either called Roundup, Cleanup, or Shootout. It's called Glyphamate. It kills from the top down. You misspray it or paint it on. It kills from the top down, but it does not sterilize the soil, and then you overseed. And how often do you do this? Well, when you overseed, you overseed every 16 to 20 days in shady areas. Overseed doesn't mean overseed. too much seeding. It, it means just taking your hand ah. and throwing a seed up in the air like that. Okay. That's overseeding. This but, guy here looks better than my one. But you keep it in the refrigerator uh, at all times. Uh, so that you change its cycle, and then you put it on, and for, the, the length, for whatever time the house lives there or the tree lives there, you've got to do it. Cut down on the water and increase on the fertilizer and wash it with your ordinary soap and water at one cup of liquid dish soap, 20 gallons of water every three weeks after you have mowed the lawn. In the evening, you only mow lawns after 7 o'clock at night. Well, that's because that's the only time you're home, I know. <laughs> okay, here's our third and final problem, which is one that we all have problems with. I'm sure even you might have a weed in your garden. Uh, there's no such thing as a weed. I'm having a terrible time with these weeds, Jerry. I haven't had time to see to them because I've been pretty busy lately. I really don't know what to do. You can see what a mess they're in. Do you think there's uh, some advice you can give me about doing something to get it back to normal. 
Well, the, the first thing is you just you just showed me my favorite plant. That was a, a dandelion. Weed? He's my. That's not a weed. I've always been a weed in a wheat field. I used the dandelion. I used the greens for a salad. I used the flowers for wine, and I used the the, the root for making coffee. Chicory, chicory. But in the meantime, what you do is when you're going to kill weeds, you only kill them on a day when it's bright and sunny. You take and fill this up with nice warm water, one cup of liquid dish soap, and you spray the entire lawn with soap and water between one and three on a bright sunny day. Even where the weeds aren't. Even where the weeds aren't. Of course. Now it's time to take the weed killer and mix it only in a sprayer that's been designed for weed killer and it's marked. Then you attach the hose and you go down to the left-hand corner of your property. You turn the weed killer around, only over the weeds going from left to right. You get down to the right-hand corner, you kick the hose back and move back a row and come back across your yard, turning it on and off only over the top of the weeds, not the entire lawn. Because plants hate the taste of weed killer and it slows them up. It's like when you were a kid, you got constipated, your mother didn't make your sister take uh, castor oil. I didn't like the taste of it, didn't do them any good. Same way. What I also didn't do is by doing it this way, I did not contaminate the garden hose and drag it back down through the flower garden. Okay, just two final points. How often and how long, how long do you cut the grass? I don't know. Well, it would depend on the, on the variety, but the farther you get into the summer and the, and the warmer weather, you bring it up. I run it at two to two and a half inches on blue grass. I always mow after seven o'clock at night because it's more comfortable for the turf and it has a chance to recover before the sun comes up. I wash it every three weeks of an evening with soap and water to kill bacteria and diseases. And by then, if it's that time, I use the soap, but I also use one cup of chewing to, uh, one cup of the Listerine mouthwash. The reason I use the brown, and it can be another brown, ugly one that doesn't have sugar in it, that will take care of it. Um, you feed it every three weeks. I put this on a number one. I go out across my lawn before noon. You only feed before noon. It doesn't look okay. like anything's coming out, and I spray it with beer and water, or beer and ammonia alternating back and forth. But Max and Dorn, can I have one more? She said, no, sorry, Bob. You can't go to the meetings with me either. Okay. Someone said, are you still in my garden? Right. Oh, if the crafts rotate themselves. Okay. Once again, I hope you got all those tips. Thank you very much. My thanks, Jerry Baker. Okay. Peter? Thanks, Liz. Well, I guess a